all right guys welcome to another episode welcome to the channel if you're new we're down here in isla mirada i've got a charter tomorrow it's about 4 15 in the afternoon had the last two days off doing private work gearing back up tomorrow for charters and uh i'm a little stressed out right now i've been fishing out of tavernier the last three or four days so i've been catching bait up there um, and that's just too long of a run to make in the morning tomorrow morning to go get bait um, i don't like to use up a whole lot of clients time although it is necessary to use up some of their time to get bait i'm just not confident that i can leave buddy mary's in the morning tomorrow and get the bait that i need around town to go fishing and i don't want to have to run all the way up north you know m most of the time i'm consistently fishing down here so i have a good idea of when i leave the dock in the morning where i'm going to go i mean sometimes they're not there if they're not there then, then you're gonna have to you know change it up and find them but as of right now i'm not confident i can wake up tomorrow morning and go snag bait close to home quickly then get on with it so for the sake of my clients and for the ease of mind so i can sleep tonight with a little bit of stress we're gonna go try to get bait now get it in a pen that way tomorrow when i wake up and hopefully when my clients show up to the dock i've got at least a few pilchards in the pen to get us going um, or maybe even a whole well of pilchards to get us going then we don't have to catch bait so let's just go see if we can't put some in the pen just to ease my mind and help me sleep better at night we just left buddy mary's let's get to it it's beautiful out guys here we go Here's the deal, yo. We have made it to where I think there's bait. It was a, bit, a little bit of a rough ride to get here. Um, but the good news is the minute I pulled up, I did start seeing bait flipping. So since I've already taken a lot of time and money and energy to come out here and do this, instead of just rolling around my cast net, I'm gonna put a block of chum out. The reason that, that is, is we actually have two different types of pilchards down here. We have razors, which is your common pilchard, which a lot of you guys probably see up in you know Tampa and um, the northern part of Florida. And then we have Sandy Keys. Sandy Keys are just, they're a pilchard. They're straight up a pilchard. They're just more of like the inbred version of a pilchard. They don't last that long. You can't really pen them up. Their scales just fall off rapidly. They're great for same day deliveries. You know, I mean, catch them in the morning and use them on your charters and they'll die in the well throughout the day or they're just not that lively and you can't really pen them up. So since we're trying to pen bait up, we're gonna use chum. You cannot chum up Sandy Keys, you can chum up razors. So we got a good little bit of flow going here. I brought a chum block, I got a chum bag, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that puppy in the water and see if I can't chum up some razor pilchards behind the boat. That way, if I had to throw, I can only make one throw and hopefully be done. It doesn't always work out like that. Sometimes it does, probably not on camera, but we're gonna find out. So. We got two pelicans right down there surfing too. So there's definitely bait here. All right, let's get a block of chum in the water and see if we can't make this worth our while. And hopefully, like I said, do a one and done. Here we go. A little bit of a sunbeam around the face. Look at all this bird poop on my freaking. Ugh. Compliments of the pelicans at Bud and Mary's. Nothing you can do about it. 
It's nasty though. Let's see if I can see him flipping here. I got the troll motor and anchor mode right now, so we're just sitting. All right, let's get a, ooh, there's some birds diving right there. All right, let's get a block of chum in the water here. Green label. It's whatever. It all works. I'm sure the problem is with a green label, sometimes chumming in places like this is uh, the snappers get real thick and behind the chum. And that turns the bait off or you wind up catching a ton of snappers that you have to pick out your well one by one. They're a loss. All right. Chum's already flowing. I've been watching them flip further down the line, so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and hit, kill the anchor and float back. If I can find the anchor remote. Oh, on the pollen platform. There it is. All right, we're just gonna back it up. Man, my phone is blowing up right now. Oop, another flip, another flip. Nobody important, just family. Family group chat, nonsense being talked about probably. Where you at, baby? They're flipping in the channel, but the channel's pretty dirty. I wish I could see them. It's sometimes clear in here. All right, hitting the anchor mode. They want to just flip right behind the boat. I hit the anchor mode on the trolling motor. I can't see much in here, but if they get behind the boat, they'll start kind of boiling. Water's so clear in here. Oh no, there's a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs coming in hot. I have word that there's pilchards down the row here. But like I said, I'm just gonna try to chum them up in the channel here. Hopefully get them just fall. Hopefully get them just thick. I was in a hurry since the sun's going down soon, so it's not like I brought my GPS, so I can't really read the bottom, see if there's it, there is they are underneath the boat. But if they're thick enough, like I said, when I get behind the boat, they'll start boiling. Over the platform is always a fun cast net throw. Current update, one minute of chumming. No fishies behind the boat yet. I probably should just turn and wail on them without the chum, since they're probably all our razors anyways. Chum just makes it so much easier when they get, ooh, flipping right next to the boat, that's funny. That looked like a really big bait, like a finger mullet or something. Okie dokie, okie dokie, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? All right. That's it. We're turning on them. Time to get the net out. That's me. All right, cast net time. No more playing games. Let's hope. They are all razors, because the sandies will die. I mean, the water temperatures are pretty cool right now. Sometimes I have good luck with sandies, like doing this, you run out, go out and crush a bunch of sandies and put them in your well real quick. One throw, don't let them sit, and then run for your pen. I've, I get lucky sometimes and wake up, but they're just not lively. Heck, they're not, they're not even lively the minute you catch them. Put them on a hook, they get like two quivers out of them. I like that thing quivering. All right, let's turn on these things. Find out how good that audio is on that GoPro 9 right now, I guess. I'm officially probably 15 feet away. Oop. That is pelican galore down here, though. I mean, I saw a few. They were running, running hard. Let that baby sink. Let that baby sink. I don't know. I mean, it's so deep right here. I saw them. They were darting. I don't know if I got anything. Oh, I see flashing. I see flashing. Yeah, they're in here. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, come on, GoPro. Don't let me down now. Wow, lots of water drops. Oh, this is going to be difficult on all of us. You guys still see me? All right. Well, let's try putting you up here, maybe. I don't know. Still trying to figure that one out. All right, whatever. We made a throw. Got 25, they're all razors. Let's try to chum them up now. I'd like to show you guys that. 
of course holy crap they are swarming us and of course the tide is completely slowed down so we got a small window here let's take this to the other side <sighs> all right so i got my block of chum Chum the uh the tide completely slowed down which is not in favor but holy crap they just started swarming i'm gonna try to oh my gosh oh yeah get them thick baby get them thick this might be really good this might be a one and done here I'm, you guys look kind of dirty let's go ahead and clean you off dirty audience what kind of viewers are you clean your lens every once in a while uh come on come on there we go like i said before oh my gosh they are thick i don't know if you guys can see this yeah they, i mean they're down there they're just hard to see all right let's get set up and let's make the throw here that'll work that looks pretty darn good if you ask me Sorry guys, new to this whole YouTube thing, trying to make it work for everybody. It's like from where I mount it, so that you guys can see all the action. I wanna see, you guys should be able to see my throw, and then all the bait that I yield. Oh my gosh, it is thick, and the bugs are thick, and all right, don't catch the V-Marine car holder, check. Don't catch anchor light. Don't catch anchor light. Uh, and throw a pancake, right? Alright, I'm pretty much loaded up. I'm gonna give it one more hard shake. Extra thick. That double tobble fries. Oh no. What's going on here? This is not gonna be good. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, 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 alright. Wow, they're thick back there, boys. They are thick. Oh, there's a ton in the net. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Big snapper too. No, you're good, you're good, don't worry about it. Yeah, they're they're definitely here. They're thick, man, like right there. Oh I know. It's crazy. Yeah, man. See them boiling. You guys have a good night. Take care, buddy, you too. Alright. We got some in the well. Do some more jump back shaking. Bugs are eating me up bad. Whew. I mean, that wasn't a terrible throw, right? Ow, I'm getting bit up. It's bug season. Where are your bug spray? All right, got another haul coming in. Not the thickest, but uh, nothing impressive. Oh man. Some bag's not working all that great. I mean, it's working. They're definitely getting right behind the boat. Here we go. Well, that opened up the most. We're gonna let this puppy sink. I can see him flashing and there's no doubt. I just wondered, oh yeah, I mean, there's a ton in there. I think I'm already swimming the bottom. Let's just go ahead and pull this in slow. Real slow. They were, I could see them a little bit better too that time. Definitely got a lot of bait, that's for darn sure. Lots and lots of bait.
You know, not bad. A little snapper though. We gotta let we gotta let him go. See you later, Mr. Snapper. Okay, this is why I wear bibs. I was hoping it was gonna be a one and done. You wear the bibs that way when you have to throw ten more times, you don't get all wet. Although I am sweating, so it's a lose-lose situation. Ah. I'm gonna have some type of disease by the end of this trip with the mosquitoes, malaria, or Zika. The bugs are back, people. If you plan on doing a charter, or you got me for a charter coming up here, wear long sleeve shirts, pants, wear a sock over your head if you have to. I don't think I've had one day of break of bugs since I've been fishing. The islands are here. Holy bait. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, I almost went in. Oh. You guys down there? I see him in the net. We got a lot. I mean, we could technically call it, but I told I told Cass here, Alex Adler, the captain of Kalex Sports Fishing, he takes real good care of me. And uh, I told him I'd bring him some, some, so. I'm gonna sweat a little bit extra for you, Cap. That is probably the most unethical way or least effective way to empty bait out of your net on a boat. It's just, I do it for you guys. I want you to be able to see while holding the 10 foot net above your head to show you might give old Takizi TV a heart attack. Exercise, that's what they call it. Thing's got a few gillers in it, starting to look like a little Florida Keys Christmas tree. It is that time of year, baby. It's Christmas. Let's make a few more throws. I got three people tomorrow. That worries me. Cappy, I don't know if you're gonna get any bait. I'm gonna try here, buddy. Ah, bug in my eye. Where you at? Well, yeah. I know you guys are like, leave the chum block in the water. Well, yeah, but then the snapper show up, so. Holy bugs. So I've just been doing little doses of chum, just trying to draw the filter real quick and then pull it out before there's too much lets out and the snappers get onto it. They're coming. I mean, they're so thick. You can see them boiling back there. I doubt you guys can, but that camera is 4K, and I will be uploading this in 4K. So hopefully you have the same experience I'm having, minus the heat and sweat. Right here. I'm going to hit the anchor button. Oh, my gosh. Look at them running. I don't know how this is going to go. Hey, good throw. Holy bait running. Oh, day in there. Guys, I might not get this net back. Oh, it's real deep. All right. Come on, baby. 500. Here we come. Holy crap, it feels heavy. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I think we're going home, guys. I think we're done. They're small. They're like the perfect backcountry base. All right, I'm going to try to show this to you without losing them or hurting them. There we go. That's a 101 throw, although I missed the live well. Everybody in. Go hang out with your friends. Oh yeah. We're full, but we're here and they're thick. We're gonna do another throw. There's probably 500 in there. And I've thrown probably three, I don't know, probably four, 400 in there. But I've thrown almost 10 times, I would think. Nobody ever said I was good at counting. All I know is I can make it rain tomorrow, buddy. Look at them, I'm like, I'm getting tired. You know what? Last one, as long as I haul some in, Last one, boys. Ugh, trying to undress me here. My bibs are falling off. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Eddie T. He's sitting in Palm Beach right now. Very, very jealous of the bait. 
Nobody loves bait more than SP. Oh, oh yeah. All right, we're done, done, I'm done. Uh-oh. A look down. All right, guys. All right, we're done. There goes the little snappers. Get the few other baits in the well. We're done. Ah, there's still one more. There he goes. Go away, buddy. All right, little snappers are gone. There's a look down in here. Look at that. Look at that. I caught that in my net, guys. How? Can you guys see it? Look at that. Look down. Oh, don't, don't fall, buddy. I don't want to hurt you. Very cool fish. Let's let him go. See you later, buddy. That's cool. First time catching, I caught a lot of stuff in my cast net. That's the first time catching a look down. All right, look at all this bait. Got it done with the Betts Murata 10 foot, baby. 3 8 mesh. I love that net. I can't throw a net, but it wants to open up for me. Just kidding. I can throw a net sometimes. Not for you guys. Okay, ditch the bibs. It's hot. Based off my knuckle assumption, we got about 41 minutes until the sun goes down. So let's get these baits into a pen. As long as they live overnight, I won't be as stressed out in the morning. All right, guys, I gotta clean up and get out of here. Um, we'll maybe see you back at the pen, no promises. If you made it this far, thanks for helping me today. Big shout out, moral support. Can't bring the dogs back here because it's National Park. Uh, all right, I'm out of here, peace. We made it, we made it. A uh, little bit windy, not so wet on the ride back. Had to go slow, don't wanna beat up the bait. Got probably about four to 500 in there. I wanna make sure they're all still gonna be alive tomorrow. But I figured, as you saw, the sun setting pretty quick. And boy, is it gorgeous out. Can't really see it because my glasses are so dirty. Gotta clean those. But I figured, what a good time to sign off we're about to lose our light. I gotta get in, get the bait pen in the water, get all these baits in the bait pen, get it locked up, get the boat back to Bud and Mary's, get it all cleaned up for my trip tomorrow, get her ready. But the good news is, I got a lot of bait. And as long as, as long as, as long as I ever make sure it's still flowing there, as long as everything lives and it's copacetical in the morning, I have a whole lot of bait. And uh, Captain Alex Adler's got a scoop coming his way. He's gonna drag Colby over in the morning to, uh, help me scoop them out but look how much bait we got guys can't really see it because it's foamy but very foamy so you can't really see it but there's a lot of bait in there um i hope they did pretty well we're gonna take our time scooping them out a few at a time but uh other than that i appreciate you guys for watching I've had a lot of viewers recently a lot of subscribers i can't think can't thank you guys enough if you guys are ever sitting there wondering why is this guy not putting out more videos this guy has not put out a video in a while what the heck is going on you youtube is not my main goal or my main i don't even make money off youtube i do it for you guys uh, charters is my livelihood charters is how i make all my money i got a lot of charters um been very very busy um, i figured this would be a great way to uh kind of just give you guys a couple tips on catching bait show you show you the difference between a sandy key and a razor the benefits of a chum block i'd have to say the chum block worked pretty well but uh listen if you guys haven't already please subscribe that'd be that means great 
and uh, smash that like button while you're clicking that subscribe button. That'd also be really cool. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Let's get this bait in the pen. We'll see you next time. And until I see you again, take it easy.